I have a <coughs> job J1 here at the letters. I have a job J1 guys in that step one. OK, in that particular step one is creating a generation guys, creating a generation. Always the answer will be on the plus one with this is equal to OK with this position as new. Similarly, if I have a job J2 guys. OK, I have a job J2 here in this in step one. I'm creating one generation, creating a new <coughs> generation and in step two guys also I'm creating another generation creating a new generation again. Now can anyone tell me guys what are the answers for this step one and step two? What are your plus, answers? Mm -hmm. Plus one is equal to new for step one plus two is equal to new for step two. Plus two guys, OK, and this is the right answer here. Plus two with this is equal to new. Now in our team who did not understand this, why it is plus two? Who did not understood why it is plus two? Assuming if you understood guys, that's nice, but you have not understood and not asking that's not nice. So. The question is very simple that there is a job in the same job in one of the step we are creating a generation in another step we are creating another one more same generation for the same base. So for first generation you are creating plus one. Now let me give an example OK from 3.4 prospect you OK from a 3.4 prospect you you have a generations like this. So generation 001 you have OK. V00 and then generation 002 V0, and generation 3. These are the generations what already there in the 3.4 catalog guys. Now this will become your current generation. OK, this will be your current generation and this will be your past one generation with minus one and this is the other second past generation which will go to the <coughs> minus two case. Now listen to the point when I am creating a new generation in this particular job step guys. If this is the case of my 3.4 current generations, I'll be creating generation number four. That's what the point. Now for the same situation, OK, don't consider job J1 has already run. Ignore that now consider only job J2 and this is your current situation of the base. So in step one guys you are creating a generation number four already. OK in step one you are creating a generation number four already. Now in the same job in the same job guys you want to create in the same job you want to create another generation then the number should be after four. So if you give plus one again OK if you give plus one here like I told yesterday guys always system will check what is the current number the job J2 guys OK or else let me go a little forward OK let me go a little out of the track. <coughs> I have a job J1 guys this is a different question here. Step one contains a new file OK a new file here and I gave the disposition as new catalog delete OK first understand the uh, concept of disposition. OK, let's understand the concept of disposition here. Step two guys is also a new file here with this is equal to new catalog delete. OK, same thing. I don't think two second step is required here. So the question here guys first question here when a job ran OK when a job runs and step one is successful guys when step one is successful system will OK system will make a note a simple note that this should be catalog. This should be catalog. But it won't do guys it won't do. It will just make a note itself that the particular file has to be catalog. Now after step two is also successful guys after step two is also successful here. It will make a simple note. OK, it won't go and save directly at that time guys. It won't save it. It will just make a note that the file what you created in the step one or step two should be catalog. That's what it will just think. 
Now listen carefully. Once the job is completed, guys, once the job is completed here, then the system what it will do, it will save the file one and save the file two as well from step one and step two. That's what system will do. The disposition guys will tell the system what to do. But the action will be taken after the job is completed. Now if this is the point, OK, if this is the point, I'm going to ask you the same situation guys, OK, that I'm going to ask you the same question in a different way now. Step one is successful guys, OK, this is not GDG concept, general file knowledge. You can apply them to the GDG as well, but for general dispersion knowledge, step one is successful guys and step two got abandoned. OK, step two is abandoned. Now you tell me guys what the system will do with file one and two. What will the system file do? File one gets created. Second. Your job is abandoned, right? F first successful. Right? OK, it, so it goes to the it's it, it will tell to be catalog. So once job gets abandoned because of step one, the file one gets created. You are saying that file one will be saved. File two will not be saved. Be saved yes, because uh, we already told that if it is abandoned it to be deleted, so will not be saved. So any correction in the answer guys? This is one person thinking guys. What's your thinking? Do you think that both the files will be deleted because the job got abandoned? Do you think that one of the step is successful? Then the file is saved. Other step will fail will not be saved. This is very important guys. Technically this is very important. Based on this only the generations are very easy to understand. I don't need to train all this point in deep guys. I can do some question and answer here very easily. But you need to know the importance of this position and its action how it works. So this is the case of our job. Two situations. The job is successful in both the steps. The job got failed in one of the steps. Now you tell me guys, is this the answer that you want to tell me or you want to change your answer? No, I think so. Yeah, go ahead. Complete your answer. Uh, I think it is right. I think it is right. Okay. Anyone else, guys, have a thought of different? I mean, the job is not completed in the first two years also. This is your job. Okay. This is the job. In that, one of the step is successful. First step is successful of what it is happening. Step two got abandoned. So the question is what happens to the new files of step one and step two? What would be the system final decision? The first one will be saved and that's the correct. OK, so you think these as well are correct. So anyone else has a thinking differently, guys? Anyone else uh, thinking differently? The job is uh, not executed no. I uh, mean, like completed is not executed no. So I think both are not saved. Okay. Now that is the place where I want to uh, correct you, Manisha. Here, this is the perfect answer to remember. Like if you ask, if I ask you the same question to you, okay. Let's say the job has job J two has ten steps. Step one, step two, step three and step nine all are successful. And step 10 got abandoned. Now if you are the system, OK, if you think it is as you design the system, do you want all the files to be deleted? Do you want all step one to nine files to be deleted? Or only the step 10 should be affected or only step 10 files to be affected. What do you think as a system? Okay. I think only the step 10 to be. That is what happens. That is what the point. Guys, it's not about wrong answer. It's about the thinking. 
you all are true okay this is the right answer the reason is same thing guys when one step is successful step one doesn't know guys really step one doesn't know there is a step two below so it doesn't care about that so one of the step in the above guys similarly one to nine steps doesn't know there is a step 10 here so when a step of particular is completed guys successfully the disposition will act accordingly to that success concept only whether you told it to save or delete system will work in that perspective only if at all if at all we assume guys if at all we assume that all nine files of each step has been deleted that means each time i need to start from the beginning every time i need to start the job from the first step that would be a time waste right rerunning the process again and again when there is a failure in one of the step is a time waste and maybe you are doing duplicate updates or duplicate insets so that is also wrong so the point is very simple guys after the step is successful system will make a note that what to do but the action will be taken after the job is completed guys if you don't catch this point what all the questions into may come up with the generation guys you'll get confused you'll get confused because you miss the concept of disposition parameter so if i go a little bit further on this generation topic guys like i said when you are creating this generation step one you are actually creating generation number four you are actually creating a new generation number four but it is not catalog guys this one is not saved yet step one is completed step one is completed system will just make a note system will just make a note saying that to be cataloged to be cataloged after job completes after job completes that means when you are creating another generation in the same job you need to use plus two here if you say plus one what happens system will check what was the last cataloged file and try to create another number with four only so that would be a duplicate that would be causing a duplicate here so your answer should be plus two saying that to create generation number five so in the same job okay generally it happens guys okay these are things very common some of the project they take one backup before process one backup after process so you will get two files in the same job also guys that's very common here but point here is if you are creating the same generation twice in a single job they should be increased by numbers so that the next sequence will be occupied clear any questions on job j1 and j2 for creating new data set 